I'm going to show you a couple ways to add a guest in OBS. But first, I want to thank our sponsor, Owned.pro. Owned.pro has a free plan and a pro plan. With the free plan, you can get stream labels, copyright free music, you can get five overlays, five free alerts, a chatbot, and PayPal donations. And with the pro plan, you get access to so many overlay packs that you can install really, really easily on your OBS. Use code TREE for 50% off. Link is down below in the description. The first method we're going to use is use OBS Ninja. For this, we're going to go to the website called obs.ninja. And here we click on create room. Then we enter a room name, test, and choose a password. Password. Apparently we have an insecure room name because people might guess it. Guests can see the director, but not other guests this video. If you click that, then people can see each other, but only you. The director will be performing as well, appearing in the group scenes. This means that you also going to be on the screen. You can turn this on if you want this to be inside the OBS Ninja, otherwise you can leave it off. You can leave the video codec on default. Enter the room's control center in a director role. Now this is what we need to set up the guests. Guests can use this link to join the group room. So this is what they need to get in here. In OBS or other st uh, studio software to capture the group video mix. So what this means is if you add people in here, they will appear in yes, one, two, three, and four. This link will be a browser source that you can add to your OBS where all these guests will appear in one screen, in one browser source. If you have auto add guests in there, then people that join via the link immediately go in. So if you have everybody in there, you could turn this off to make sure that new people won't get in your stream. Okay, so we copy this link by clicking on copy link or just copying it. And then we're going to send this link to your guest. For now, I'm just going to do it on my phone. So I'll be my own guest. <laughs> and now I'm joining with my phone and then here, oh, Nice shot. <laughs> camera, the front camera, that's fine. Default uh, is my speaker. Uh, we don't have to save the password. <laughs> okay, and now we can click on start. I'm just gonna flip my screen real quick. I'm gonna put it down. Um, and then we can see on the PC here, it's coming in. Because I'm doing it with my phone, I'm doing it via Wi-Fi, so you can see that the the screen is a little bit blurry and stuff like that. So I recommend joining with a computer that has a wired network. So a wired internet connection, because then you don't have this blurry screen. <laughs> so what we can do is we have this here, which is the link for multiple, which is me here and maybe me as the director, if you tick that box and other people that join with the link. But we also have myself here and we can put on solo talk, for example, that you only hear that person. The mic would be just the mic from our phone right now, so that, that would sound horrible. <laughs> um, we can highlight the guests if they're multi-view and stuff like that. But there's another link here. And if we copy the solo link, and then we go to OBS, and let me make another scene. And we put it like in here as a browser source. Oh, wait, <laughs> guest. Guest. And now we add the link in here and we make it 1920 times 1080. Do -do -do -do. <gasps> there we are. Oh my God, I hear myself. If you want to regulate the audio, uh, cl right click and then properties, control audio via OBS, okay. And now we can mute this. <laughs> <laughs> because that was really annoying. And we can see ourselves now in OBS. Like I said, don't do this via wireless network because it would look awful, but it works like this. Ooh. I guess we don't have the best Wi-Fi here. <laughs> I do everything on the wired anyway, so. And you can add like multiple guests like this. Every guest in here is gonna have a separate box and you can separately copy their link and put them in there and you can divide them as you want or you can copy this group link if you want them automatically like grouped and stuff like that the second option for doing things is for example joining in discord or in any other software you want to and then capturing the screen so let's say we want to use discord so for example we have discord here and we want to capture somebody who is streaming so we turn on the camera now it isn't loading because i'm using obs and it's 
using my camera in OBS. So if you are wondering why your camera isn't working, don't have your OBS open if the camera is in there or don't have the camera open. So if you're talking in Discord, just keep your camera off or use a different one that's not connected to OBS. Okay, so let's say this is a person just, you know, uh, then we're gonna go to OBS, click on window capture. And then we capture Discord. If we drag with Alt, whoop, and right click, transform fit to screen. Now we have this person big on your screen. Downside though is if new people join the Discord, these screens are gonna move. So make sure that it's a private channel that no more people can join. Another thing you can do is click on this pop out and this makes this a little bit bigger or you can hide non-video participants. So the, the guest is a little bit bigger and you are really small. If you want your audience to see what's on your stream, what you can do is start the virtual camera here. And if we go back to Discord, for example, we can set our camera on the virtual camera. Now we have a black screen because we were filming a black screen like you see here. But what you have in OBS right here will be going to your video feed in Discord. And this way they can easily see what you're streaming and they know when they are in the screen. <laughs> you can do that with any other video calling program as you can just set it as your webcam as long as you have a virtual camera on in OBS. Now we're going to go to the third version, which is the one with Skype by using NDIs. Okay, for this one, what you need to do is go to this website, the plugin from OBS NDI. Okay, I will leave that down below in the description to make it easy for you. And then we go to the download. Make sure to close OBS and then we're going to download the Windows installer. We're going to save the file and then we're going to run it. Another thing you need to make sure is that you have this Skype desktop version. If you do not have that one and you have the one that came with Windows, make sure to uninstall the one that came with Windows and search for the desktop one on the internet and download that one. Install the plugin. Go finish, finish. Okay. Now to check if we installed it correctly, click here on the plus with sources. And if you see NDI source, then you have installed it correctly. What we're going to do now is we're going to open Skype. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on our image and then go to settings. Then here we're gonna go to calling and then click on advanced and turn on allowed NDI usage. Turn that on. Okay. And now what we need to do is we need to click on meet now and host a meeting. We can change our camera here to OBS virtual camera. So make sure that this is on again. Now, if we change that to virtual camera, this means that the audience will see what you are broadcasting so they can see you because they see you on the stream basically but then without delay meeting name test for youtube okay and now this link here that's a link that you need to share with others so we're going to copy this and we're going to send it to other people again using my phone so mind you that the internet quality might not be good so make sure that you use internet via wired connection okay, and now we're going to start the meeting I have my mic muted in here and we're gonna join the meeting here on my phone. Turn on the camera, hello. Like you see, it's just a wireless connection that isn't so great. So we have the same problem on my phone. It's a little bit less with Skype I see, but yeah, it still doesn't look good. So make sure to use a wired connection. And what we can do now is we got me joining Tree Amber. That's not actually my last name. <laughs> and we can go here to OBS and we can add an NDI source. Now NDI source um, guests, the guest here, the source name will be tree. That's me. There we go. That's, that's, that's a little bit small. Okay. So what we can do is right click transform fit to screen. And now we're a little bit bigger. The downside of this is though, there will be this Skype logo here in the top. So yeah, that will be demolishing your screen. So you need to have a layout that goes a little bit over it. The upside from it though, is that the guests come in separately. So if there's multiple people joining, multiple people will get their, their, their audio levels in here separately. So you can turn down somebody on its own. That's a really, really big plus of using the NDIs from Skype. If you want this to rotate through people that are in your call, what you can also do is instead of like setting it on a person. So I set it on myself right now. You can also set it on active speaker and then it, it basically changes to whoever is talking, just like you are used to from like Teams or Zoom calls like that. If you want to record Teams or Zoom, you can do that with the window capture I explained in the last step. 
Like I said, I recommend to put on virtual camera so other people can see what's happening in your stream. I think you need to know a lot more about virtual camera than you do right now. So let's go to this video where I talk more about the virtual camera. See there. 